Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to georeference a map using Global Mapper. Georeferencing is the process of aligning special data such as scanned map or aerial image to known geographic coordinates so it can be used accurately in GIS softwares. First, download any geological or topographic map you, you would like to digitize. For this tutorial, I'll be using the geological map of Hengol National Park in Balochistan. Select this map and visit the link which is provided. I will download this map which is given in this research paper. Click on it. Right click on it and save this image. Create any folder. I will create a folder with the name Georeferencing and save this image. So I will select the for JPEG format for this map. I'll rename this map Geological Map of Hengol National Park. Open this map. So all the coordinates are given in this map and you can uh, do reference this map. Now open global mapper. In global mapper you can open your file from various locations. You can also open from view from open data file. Select it. Open it. Once loaded select manually rectify to begin georeferencing or simply view the map without georeferencing if you are only interested in studying it. You can also open it from file, open data here yeah, and select manually rectify it or you can drag and drop in the global mapper as well. Now drag the part in which you are interested uh, in which the coordinates are available. Select the point here and put the coordinates in the late long within the box which are given below here. If uh, it's very important that if your coordinates are in decimal degrees, enter them directly as shown on the map. However, if they are in degrees, minutes, and second format, make sure to add a space between each units. At least four control points are required for accurate georeferencing but adding more points can further improve accuracy add point so two points are added now add another third point Make sure your point is accurately placed. Now you can click apply and then ok. 
effort if if you want to edit your control points or change the projection of the map for the op- uh, the option are provided once uh, all the editings in adding points are done then click apply and then okay apply and okay now your map is now success- successfully georeferenced you can export it in various formats such as camz or camel or geodiff We will export it in both KMZ and GTIF format. Select PNG so all of your data is in tag and make it 100. Okay. Now select your folder and then name it. Now export it in duty format. Click G on your keyboard so you can, you can easily spot it. Okay. Now save it. Your map is successfully georeferred. Now I'll open the uh, Google Earth so I can verify that where the geological map is georeferred or not. Now drag and drop within the global uh, Google Earth. You can adjust the transparency from this tool to see where the geological map is accurately georeferred or not. You can check it from the feature which are available on the imagery and on the map so you can compare it with each other thank you for watching this tutorial stay tuned for more informative videos